Hey everybody, thanks for watching. So uh, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe, but this video is gonna be talking about my freshwater tank here. Um, this is after my vacation, so if you haven't watched my saltwater video, I went on a five day vacation and just left my aquariums with no maintenance. Uh, I don't have anybody to come here and take care of them in the meantime. So uh, it looks like after the five day vacation, everyone has survived. We have uh, fire and ice doing great both of the Danios um, and the Dress Platy, those five fish were from the original six gallon tank. Um, the Peppermint Platys are all doing good. All uh, five of them are accounted for. And then we also have the Placosimus, which is doing great. The uh, Albino Bristlenose Placosimus and the uh, two, uh, what are they called? The two Scarlet Bodies are also doing wonderful. So I think the bodies have started to eat flakes because uh, obviously I have not fed brine shrimp for a week and um, I fed flakes the other day and they look pretty fat so I think they're starting to munch on them a little bit. Um, I've been crushing the flakes up pretty tiny. I'm um, pretty fine. Oh and we also have the two uh, blue platies as well just like ice that are doing great. Those guys um, were new as of a couple videos ago. So uh, to kind of detail the bodies they're kind of hidden in here. It's really hard to see. You can see one right here um, if the platies get out of the way. But this one right here is doing pretty good. Oh, where does I zoom in? She swims away, right? So here is the Placosimus. He is hiding under this driftwood here, just munching down. He does look a lot better than he did last time. Um, he doesn't look fuzzy anymore, and his fins have actually kind of came back. His tail fin last time was pretty bit up, and it seems like it came back. Oh, and here is the other body that I was talking about. Just hiding in the background there. He was just wiggling into that rock. Oh, and there's the other body next to him. So it looks like I have a female and a male body based on the colorations here. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with these fish, uh, which has made this super fun because these are a totally new fish for me, but uh, they are pretty interesting to watch. They're actually pretty lively and they uh, constantly just running around the tank, looking at stuff, all sorts of fun things like that. So pretty neat fish. If you guys haven't tried them, I would say give them a shot. Um, these are both just awesome fish to have. And look, she was really flaring up there for a second. That was really cool. I just love how much movement they have too and how curious they are. They're just always running around, looking at things, wiggling around, all sorts of cool stuff. Like, like they always look like they're hunting their food, even though they're just looking for whatever they can munch on. Going back to the uh, platies and Danios, everybody has healed up nicely. Everybody's looking really good, actually. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a few snails on the glass now, um, and we've still got the... Uh, Dragonstone in there from when I transferred the six gallon inhabitants over to this tank. Um, so we've got two driftwood pieces, a Dragonstone piece. Um, hopefully I can get some live plants in here. I do want to get another Kessel light possibly, um, but it may just take a while with uh, the money si uh, situation at hand and everything. Um, and the filter's doing great. And I think, uh, let's see, let's check the platies. Let's check the females because I think this platy might be pregnant. It's kind of hard to tell. She's really fat though, like she's really thick. I'm trying to see if I can get a side profile. You see how chubby she is though? Normally she's not that fat. Um, she does have, like her scales are black, so it's really hard to tell because, uh, you know, right where you would normally look for that gravid spot for the, um, for the eggs in there is where the, the black finage is. I think she might be pregnant though, because if you look at her, um, if she turns the side here for us while she's in focus, she has the little, you can kind of see with the light right there. Like it's like a darker spot, but almost like a, it's almost like it has eggs there. It's kind of interesting where this platy, for example, well, if my camera would focus, this female platy doesn't appear to have that, this blue one here. She just has her fin, she's a lot skinnier and there's nothing there it seems like. Um, and then as far as the peppermint platies go, I don't see, I mean, they're, they're pretty much see-through, so they make it really easy to be able to tell if they're pregnant or not. Um, I don't see any of them looking like they have any kind of eggs or anything. Um, they are live bearers, so they would hatch alive. I don't mean eggs as in like they're going to lay eggs. I mean eggs as in eggs that are fertilized. Um, but yeah, so I'm really hoping, really, really, really hoping that this uh, platy's pregnant. Um, she really does look pregnant there. If you really look at her, she looks like she 
is. So we'll see. Um, just stay tuned, guys. So if we have some baby platies, it'd be pretty cool if they can go in the six gallon because I still have the six gallon set up for the shrimp. Um, but yeah, pretty neat so far, guys. Anyways, that's the uh, that's the six gallon. Let me know what you all think. Do you think that fish is pregnant? Do you not think she's pregnant? Um, if she is pregnant, how many babies do you think she'll have? Uh, yeah, and uh, I appreciate you guys' view. Please remember to subscribe, and if you have any questions, just let me know.